it's like A B C D E of zero trust, right? So A stands for complete accountability. Mm -hmm. That's a very very foundation for zero trust. B, if you look at, I mean, a little bit of a mathematics, uh, because I mean, I come from a background of physics and mathematics, okay. a Bayesian network, right? So where mm -hmm. you learn from your hypothesis and experiments and keep improvising, mm -hmm. right? Okay. What you've already learned and how do you improvise that model? Mm -hmm. C is more about the culture, which is very integral part of zero trust, mm -hmm. right? So no zero trust will be successful if you don't actually have that alignment with the organization's mm. culture. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you are creating what is the last point of F is the friction, right? Mm. I'll come to that separately. Then if you look at the D, which is democratization, mm. it has to be a democratic approach. You cannot have a special use cases where you say, okay, you know what? I trust A, but I don't trust B, mm. right? A CEO can walk in and go wherever I want, but then probably my analyst will have to, you know, jump the hoops mm. to go to maybe access simple server. So mm. that cannot be. It has to be mm. a democratic approach, right? When you look at the E, which is more about the enabler mm. for the business. So zero trust cannot be seen by the business that now I don't have ease of doing business, mm. right? Which has to enable.